Hello, you're welcome. It gives me great joy to notice you're watching this video today, and I'm particularly very excited. I am Dr. Ola Inka Conley. I'm a sociologist and a lecturer in the university. I'm a life coach, I'm a public speaker, and I'm a relationship manager. So I do a lot of talks on this channel, and all these talks that I do, you can cluster into sociology, research, relationship, and migration. So if this is your first time of coming in contact with my video, with my channel, I'm probably very happy. And I say kindly subscribe to this channel, comment, like, and share. And if you are subscribed to this channel previously, thank you very much for staying tuned. Kindly comment, like, and share. So today I'll be addressing a very important topic, very important topic, how to achieve excellent mental health. Mental health is a big issue across the world. Many people are coming down with mental health issues, yet most of these issues are not reported, they are underreported. So the statistics we have on mental health, though very humongous, yet I can consider them underestimation because there's so much myth, secrecy, denial around mental health issues. People think they, they are caused by witchcraft or many people think it's about insanity or madness. Not entirely, and witchcraft is actually not part of it. So that we have huge ignorance around mental health issues. So many people suffer it; they don't know. Many people deny it. So globally, it's, a, it's an epidemic now. It's affecting so many people, and mental health issues must be taken seriously because it affects growth and development of societies and the productive capacity of people. So it's very important because people, mental health issues disempower people you know, and deny people their capacity to perform and their well-being. So it's very important that we understand and talk about mental health issues. And everybody is vulnerable, actually. Aside those ones that are already suffering from mental health issues, even those that are not suffering from it yet, are, are vulnerable. So it's very important that we build knowledge and capacity around it. And it's very common. It affects everybody. And uh, everybody is vulnerable. And it affects so many people. So we have to constantly guide our mental health. Everybody must guide this our mental health so that somebody does not tip over. So, and how do we define mental health? Mental health can be described as a wide range of conditions that affect mood, thinking, behavior, performance, and productivity. You see, wide range of conditions. There's so many conditions that we consider as mental health issues Wide, wide range of conditions that affect mood, thinking, behavior, performance, and productivity. Mental health issues will affect people's performance, will affect their mood negatively, will affect their behavior, thinking, and relational capacity and productivity negatively. People who suffer from mental health issues don't relate effectively and very well. They have negative relationship performance. There's so much myth around it, especially in poor countries. And it's so prevalent. For example, as much as 13% of the global population is affected, this 13% is affected by people, by mental health issues. As much as 971 million people are affected, are affected by mental health issues. That's humongous. 13% of global population, this percentage as a singular entity, you know, is affected by mental health issues. But 971 million people in interpretation of actual number are affected by mental health issues. So, this this issue is a very serious uh, issue. If you take it in terms of singular number, which is why I said it's affected. But if you talk about 971 million people as a, as a wide category are affected by, by hate. So, this is very important for us to, to, to know and we must pay close attention to it. So, what are what, what, uh, issues that we can consider as mental health issues. Depression. When people just feel depressed, they're not interested in anything that used to excite them. They don't want to come out of bed. They want to be reckless. They're just inside. They don't want to deal with anybody. Depression, loneliness, loneliness, sense of rejection, hopelessness, and, you know, suicide, generally speaking. And all of the prolonged sadness, prolonged sadness. So, you, you have to be very conscious of this, that way. These are signs of mental health issues. So what are the solutions to mental health issues? Number one, realize that everybody is vulnerable. Everybody is vulnerable. Everybody.
everybody is vulnerable, including you that you are listening to me, including the present me that I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you now. I consider myself vulnerable. So it can happen anytime. Because from experience that we have, we have people who have high self-esteem. You know, low self-esteem is also prolonged low self-esteem can also be a symbol, a sign of mentality. So we see people who have high self-esteem, excellent mental health, mental health condition, suddenly become um, depressed and having mental health issues. So everybody is vulnerable. So we should not deny the fact that everybody is vulnerable. And people must be deliberate about protecting their mental health and must be determined in terms of protecting their mental health. They must be determined. And they must know that. Everybody must know that failure is part of life because many people fall into mental health problems because of failure, maybe failure of exam, failure in business, or failure to have strong relationships. So there are different reasons people people go into mental health problems. So failure, when they happen, must be continue to fail forward. Consider that failure is the prelude to success and keep trying. So you must realize that failure is part of life. If you fail today, you will succeed tomorrow. Go and ask those people who are now, who are now celebrated globally as, as successes. Many of them failed many times. Therefore, positive thinking is another way, it's another solution. Think positively. Be constructively positive about life. And you will discover that you will, you will be fine. Be positive that, yes, I will pull through. I will succeed. I am excellent. I am great. I will not die in my present situation. I can always get better. It doesn't matter how successful I am. So be positive about life. Look at positive side of life. I did a video on how to overcome loneliness abroad. So I also mentioned, you can watch that video. I also mentioned it's, uh, it's related to this. I also mentioned the fact that we must be positive in our thinking. And we must build strong network. Surround yourself with positive people. Dissociate yourself from toxic people. People who run you down. People who say negative things to you. You must protect yourself and your brand. You don't allow things to get at you so easily. So move away from toxic people and surround yourself with positive, supportive networks of people who, who are always interested in your well-being. And try as much as possible to avoid loneliness. No, do not be lonely. Build strong relationships and, and be around people. Go out of the house. Go outside. Go to the park. Watch films. Go on the internet. Be on social media productively. But make sure you protect yourself from Comments that can further drag you down into mental health issues or that can push you into self-doubt. You know, people with mental health issues have strong self-doubt. They don't believe in themselves. They lack confidence. So don't be around people uh, that, will build your confidence, that will drag your confidence down. So avoid loneliness. Don't be in isolation at any time. Be around positive and progressive people. And sleep well. Lack of sleep is a major cause of mental health problems. Sleep very well. I won't tell you how many hours of sleep or this and that. Good quality sleep. You may sleep long hours. I do not be, it will not be quality. And you may sleep, sleep for short hours. It may be quality. So make sure you sleep well. And your body will tell you if it's well rested. Sleep well. When you sleep well, your body regenerates. Your health regenerates. Your mental health gets improved and better. You don't have to be on sedatives. Make sure you take good shower and sleep around the day if you love to sleep in the afternoon sleep if you love to sleep at night sleep make sure you have good quality sleep and avoid, avoid drugs don't take narcotics don't take hard drugs hard drugs will not help they will just lift you randomly and make you will fall more than you were before you took the drug so no narcotics uh, no no hard drugs and make sure you move away and be clean don't go into drugs. And be, think positively. Exercise very well. Exercise is good for your mental health. And avoid toxic relationship. Avoid toxic relationship. Avoid difficult people. Avoid situations that will give you self-doubt. And manage people around you. Manage people. Don't let people destroy you. Be, think positively. And be deliberate. In, make sure you protect your mental health. It's very important. Be around good people. Don't move away from loneliness and make sure, as you try things, be prepared that failure is part of life. As much as you want success, don't let the fear of failure stop you from approaching new things of trying to be great, but be realistic that failure is part of success. So when you fail, 
fail forward and you'll be fine. Make sure you are deliberately protecting your mental health. It's very important. So as much as 13% of people that are affected by mental health issues, make sure you are not part of that 13%. And I show this is an estimation. More people are actually affected, more than 13% of people, more than 971 million people are affected because this is, these figures are under estimation. So don't be among the 13% of the world population affected by mental health problems. Make sure you are not counted among 971 million people and more with mental health problems. So protect yourself, protect your mental health, and work towards maintaining excellent mental health. Until I see you in my next video, protect your mental health and be your best.